The saga between Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union is even getting hotter. And I do mean hot like fish grease. We've all been hearing the stories that Dwayne Wade is really tired of her. He would like to do something else with his life. And many of us believe that is true. By just looking at many of the photos, you don't see them taking pictures together. They're not wearing their wedding ring. And so people start speculating. They start going on the Instagram accounts. They start looking at who's following who. And so then the stories start coming out and then views on YouTube start going up. And then people start responding to it because views on YouTube are coming up. And people are wondering why is Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade not taking photos? And so that is the story of the month. Is Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union divorced? But then they tried to put that to bed. How did they do it? Well, they shut down the breakup rumor by taking this photo for Halloween. Look at this. You see Dwayne Wade as peanut butter, Gabrielle Union as jelly, and their daughter as a princess. And it's a great family photo. But you didn't see this family photo until all of these blogs came out until people started talking about it. So the question is, why now? They're giving alleged happy couple vibes, just like Will and Jada Smith. Now, we already knew Will and Jada pretended to be together for the media, according to Jada Pinkett, for seven years, but they were really separated, although they were lying. And it looks like Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union are going about this the same way. But here's what I think. And if you're a black man, you kind of know where I'm at. A lot of these guys get with these independent women that have been single for a long time. And you know, we like women like that because they have their own money. And nothing is wrong with dating a woman that has her own money. But the problem is, is that when you as a man want that femininity and she's not used to giving femininity and you take her like that, then the reality is you start to have an issue and you can't tell her nothing and she's gonna look at you like you're crazy because hey, that's why how you accepted her. Do you expect her to start cooking and cleaning or doing anything like that? Hell no, you're not gonna get anything like that. So then you start really dealing with other stuff, right? You start being like, damn man, um, shoot, these other chicks are treating me nice. You know, um, man, I don't know if I made the right decision. I, I really think that I would have been better off doing something else. And maybe you would have been better off doing something else. But um, the, the reality is, um, you're, you can't, you won't, you'll never get something else because you're stuck with that individual. And so then you start really doubting your situation. As a man gets older, he starts to look at his happiness. Some of these guys end up in sexless marriages. And when guys end up in sexless marriages, it's really a rough thing, man. It's really tough. So guys like, you know what, um, I'm married, I got kids, but here's what I wanna do. I'd rather just stay with her, not lose everything, just stay married for the sake of my kids, but I really want something else. Some guys go home, they're not even attracted to their wife anymore. They don't even really want their wife anymore. It's like they've already given up on the fact that, you know, me and you are not ever gonna be together like that but let's just pretend, you know, uh, we go to the same church, we have the same friends, and I really don't want to express to my friends and family that, you know, me and you are broken up, you know? And I kind of like the fact that people look up to us as a couple, you know, folks think that it's cool, folks think that it's great. I like that, I think that it's great. But the reality is I can't stand you. I don't like you. I don't like being around you. And in certain cases, we hate each other and that's fine. And I think probably that's where they're at right now. I'm pretty sure that he knows that whatever she got in the relationship that she can give, um, he he's not gonna get no more than her. And the reality is, is that, well, you know, she probably really likes me and don't want me for my money. So I'll just take it. But the reality is, I think he don't want nothing to do with her at all i know y'all thinking that it's crazy that they came out here and took this picture but that's really what it is he don't want nothing to do with her and she don't want nothing to do with his ass they're just doing it for the sake of taking pictures but the reality is many of us 
are going to be in that situation one day, right? I'm gonna tell you how I know that because people change, people change, things change. Love they ask today, but who, who's to say next year you love them? Maybe you might not love them next year. And when things change, sometimes you need um, a change of scenery. And sometimes that change of scenery, hey, it means somebody else. If you think that Will Smith hasn't had sex with somebody else in the last five years, the last two or three years, you're crazy, right? If you think Gabrielle Union or Dwayne Wade hasn't had somebody else in the last five years, you're crazy. Of course that's happened, right? Now, that's just a situation that's gonna go through with any relationship on any level. It's gonna be hardcore, but in my honest opinion, he is done with her, she is done with him, and they probably don't want to make that known because it's a lot of money involved. And also, you know, they probably don't want to start all the way over again at that age. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me just say this before we get up out of here. If you're Gabrielle Union, you're 50, you have a kid, you're known in the industry. If you leave this guy, the, the question would be, where do you think that you're going to probably go? All right. I'm talking about getting with a man that's used to your lifestyle, that has the amount of money that Dwayne Wade has. Where are you going to go? That's the reality. We don't want to deal with it like that, but that's the reality. Where are you going to go? Probably not many places. You're, you're Dwayne Wade. You get married to somebody else. You know, uh, maybe, damn, you know, I don't know if they're going to like me like that. Are they going to build me for my money? Pro probably not, bro. It's probably cheaper to keep her, in his opinion. You know, it it's just messy, bro. So what I'm seeing, all of this is an act. All of this is cap. All right. He don't want to do with her ass. She probably don't want to do with him. They'll come out publicly and try to make it look good. For the streets but damn yeah family i just don't think this is gonna be true um and like i told you guys all the time in my content dating and marriage is just like boxing it's a full contact sport there is no way to be in the ring and there's no way to operate in that sport and not get hit ain't no way you're going to get hit all upside the head, bro. I don't care how much game you got. I don't care how much talent you think you got. I don't care how, how smart you think you are. You are going to go through that. People change your relationships. They ain't the same person that you met five years ago, 10 years ago. People get turned off. Even things you do, you hurt people. They don't like you anymore. You apologize. It's never the same. It's never the same. And sometimes you, 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 you start over. You know, so guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.